hello and welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to apply photo filters so in the previous tutorial we have already learned how to give effects to your image so for this tutorial we'll be applying the photo filters to your current image so the first thing which you'll need to do is that you'll need to have you'll need to download a transparent image or a transparent filter so that you could apply the same filter to your image so what I did is that I have downloaded a image filter from Google. So I, I basically searched Google for a transparent image filter and I got this filter. And when you open this filter, you could see nothing. And that is because it's a transparent filter, but uh, it is going to give you effect whenever you are going to lay this onto other image. So what I've done is that this is our pre previous image, which is an image for a flower. And we are going to use this image and we are going to lay this filter onto that image. So the first thing which you'll need to do is that you'll need to use the code from the previous project and you'll need to go into your on create and you need to comment this code right here so in order to comment it we give a slash star here and give a star slash here so once this is commented the next thing which we do is that as we want to overlay one image onto other we are basically going to make two layers so the first layer is going to consist of the first image which is the image of a flower and the second image which lies on top of it is going to actually contain the filter so before doing that you need to make sure that along with this first image you also need to have this filter so i've named the image or the filter as image 2 so we simply copy it go to our android studio go to the drawable folder and paste our image right here and name it as image2.png so the first image or the first layer would be the image 1 the second layer with would be the image 2 so for the sake of convenience i have named it as image 1 and image 2 so so once this is done we go into this on create right here and you could also delete this code if you want but i thought it would be better if i just commented it so the first thing which we need to do is that we need to create layers so in order to create layers we type drawable then give this type of square bracket and inside it we actually are going to specify the layers which we are going to use so we type drawable square square bracket layers this equals new drawable and inside the square brackets we are going to specify how many number of layers which we want to use so in this case we want to use two layers first layer would be for the flower and the second layer would be for the filter so once we have it the next thing which we do is that we set the content of the first layer so in order to set the content of first layer we type layers and inside it we specify zero and that is because zero is going to be our first layer so the counting actually starts from zero instead of one so layers of zero equals get resource and get resource is basically a method which is going to return the resource which we have in our folder so get resource dot get drawable as it is a drawable object and inside it we specify the path so r dot drawable dot image one so this is going to be our first image which is the flower and then, and we copy the same line of code for the second image so as you could see whenever we type this in it is going to show us an error and that is because get drawable has been depreciated and what depreciated means is that it, it cannot be can no longer be used while developing android applications so instead of this get drawable we are going to use a new method so that is going to be resource compact dot get drawable and inside this get drawable we are going to get the resource so we make the relevant changes over here and over here so the next thing which we do is that instead of this layer 0 we are going to change it to 1 and everything is okay and instead of this image 1 we are going to use image 2 as image 2 is our filter so now once we are done with this the next thing which we need to do is that we need to create the final layer so in order to do that we go right here and then we type in layer drawable let's name it as layer drawable equals new 
layer drawable and to this we pass in the final layers which is going to merge these two layers into a single layer so this piece of code right here is going to merge the two layers into a single layer so now once this is done the only thing which we need to do is that we need to set the final layer to the current image view so we type my image view dot set image drawable and then we specify the name of our layer so that is nothing but the layer drawable so now let's save the code and run our code onto our emulator so as you could see our application is up and running on the emulator and as you could see there is a basic image of our flower and on the image of the flower basically we have applied the filter which we have used which is nothing but a transparent filter now i have used a simple boring filter but you could search on the internet and you could find better filters to be applied onto your image so that's basically how you apply image filters to an image so applying an image filter is nothing but taking an image and adding one more image onto it and in order to do that we used layers so basically we used first layer and then we used second layer and we laid the, the second layer on the first one and then finally we have merged these two layers to form an image and we have finally displayed an image so that's it for this tutorial and i hope you guys understood how to use layers in order to create image filters so thank you very much for watching this tutorial and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial thank you